Welcome back to Max Electronics friends and we're back at it again with uh, another LED music controller. This one is SP107E which is addressable W, well actually it's universal for universal LED strips. So a working temperature, working voltage is 5 volts to 24 volts and uh, 25 to 120 milliamps. I'm not sure whether it's consumption or output. So it's got an app that you can download. Let's check out what's inside. Uh, I've already got LED strip ready. It's WS2812B, 5 volt. So let's see if this is more promising than the other one we reviewed. So we've got a little connector included. It's a barrel 5.5. It's the barrel jack. <laughs> then we've got more a little screwdriver. The controller itself, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Instruction manual, which is stuck inside. Why is it stuck inside? There we go. It doesn't say much. It's all Chinese. There's the English version, so it tells you to download an app and how to install it. We've got a little connector for addressable strip, which we'll would not be using. Another double adapter for audio and the controller itself. Let's open it up and see what's inside first. Use a pry tool to open it. I doubt there'll be much inside but we'll have a look anyway. Very tight fit. There we go. Indeed very tight fit. Here it is. So this, uh, they definitely didn't wash it. That is all disgusting dirty. You can see the flux. It does have a microphone again. So we've got two chips on there, which is um, GD32E230. And the second one, I can't even read it. You can probably see it better than me. Uh, a couple of caps. And that's it, the controller. So let's plug it in. I'm, I'm going to keep it out of the enclosure. I've already installed the app. Couldn't do much with it because it needs to be hooked up to the controller. Let's quick hook up the LED strip. Now let's hook up the power. Here it is. Let's power it on first and see what it does. So I'll unroll a bit of LED strip. We're going to assign uh, maybe that length, whatever the length is, up to here. And that would be 16 LEDs. Well, I'll put 17 for a good measure. Let's turn it on first and see if it does anything. I did something, oh. But, oh, it's reacting to my voice as we speak, so that's interesting. Yeah, so different colors, just to the voice, as you can see. Uh, let's, I'll turn the light off just so you can see better. And there it is, just flashing different colors. Okay. I'll turn the computer on and We'll uh, install the app. Well, the app is already installed. Here is the app opened. Uh, let's uh, add it. So I assume we're going to assign. So it's RGB and we're going to put WS2811, even though it's 12. Uh, we've got one segment and we'll put six. Oh, connect the device. Okay, let's connect the device. There it is. Connected. Okay. We'll put one segment and 16 pixels that's already there okay total 16 enter so here's the settings let's see what oh this is a sensitivity um it's assigned 16 pixels so it's right where it's supposed to be let's turn the sensitivity up And we've got a choice of what we can do with it. 
So we can make it as a running light or the linear, that's pretty much the vo like a level almost. You can see it's uh, blinking the louder I go, the, the higher it is. Then uh, this one's just randomly changing colors. This is just the pixels here and there. Is it changing color? Yeah. I'm pretty happy with this controller so far. Now the real test is uh, plugging it into the audio and seeing if uh, it's actually going to take the audio and turn the mic off. I really like that effect. And another thing I'm curious about is will it save it and can it be operated standalone? So if I save those settings and exit the app and disconnect the Bluetooth and everything, is it going to um, save it and just power it on? Maybe I'll put this in my car instead of the, the other one. Definitely not the other one. The other one's dodgy. So let's do that. Let me just uh, get the computer going first. I've got the audio jack ready here. So let me just plug it into the device. Oh, it's hard to do the power. Okay, so that's a good sign. The mic is not active when the audio is in. Uh, let's press play. It's at the moment going to be playing through the speaker so you can hear it and through this. Let me just readjust that a bit. So let's go. I might as well uh, play around with the settings while we're at it. And I'll uh, turn the light off. So turning sensitivity does help a lot. Now let's see if it remembers it. I'm going to turn the app off and turn the Bluetooth off. Now I'm going to disconnect it and let's plug it back in. And it's straight away, it remembers it. So lights are coming back on. And here we go, that's the controller. Definitely recommend it. It does exactly what it says, it actually does more. I'm pretty impressed with it and it costs cheaper than that other junk that you saw in our previous video. So this is it for this video, it's, um, it's a quick one. Definitely worth buying this controller, so SP107E, uh, available on AliExpress. It's uh, decently made, it's got everything you want it's not washed in ultrasonic cleaner that's dirty but uh, again it doesn't matter it's not going to affect the operation of it that little flickering that you're seeing here that's a bit of a noise coming through the um, audio jack so that's it i definitely recommend buying this one uh, it's a great controller i'm going to be putting this one in my car for sure i don't even have to remove the microphone so this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. You can also support me on Patreon at Max Electronics. This is it for this video. I will come back soon with some cool things to review. Bye.